Imagine a man said this. There would be an uproar everywhere on the internet. If there was a famous guy who was like, yeah, man, I had to leave her because, man, she was just too good for me. She was just too good. This is exactly why you can never give a man too much of yourself and never be too good. You know, the same regular stuff we see all the time. <sighs> Welcome to the Coffee Pod. Bring the coffee, it'll make you feel better. You will not believe why this famous soccer player's ex-wife decided to divorce him. Or maybe you will. I'm curious to know what you guys think of this. When you find out, comment down below. I want to know your reaction. Let's get it. This woman really left her husband because he was too perfect. Fellas, this is a reminder. Sometimes you got to choose chaos and violence just to keep things interesting. This man's net worth is near $100 million. He was a great husband and great father, but in 2024, that's just not good enough. Shh, let's read that caption real quick. It says, Kaka's ex, by the way, that's his name, Kaka. It says, Kaka's ex-wife revealed the reason she divorced him was because he was a perfect husband with the face palm emoji. What? Put that coffee down. Goes on to say, Kaka never betrayed me. He always treated me well. He gave me a wonderful family. But I was not happy. Something was missing. And you guys know what was missing was chaos. 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 I want to I go into this, but I don't want to go into this yet. Because I have so much to say about this situation. It's just insane. Goes on to read, the problem was that he was too perfect for me. Let's keep listening. Anymore. Women thrive off of speculation and argument. So you over here being just Mr. Perfect is just, just boring. Spice up your love life and get you a side piece, fellas. Not because you want it, just because you want to keep things interesting. Kakas or however you say it, you need to call this dude up. He's going to get you right. <laughs> Let's check out another video here that gives a little bit more details. Let's get it. What do you guys think so far? Comment down below. Let's get it. Kaka's ex-wife has come out and explained why she divorced Kaka back in 2015 and her reasoning is unbelievable. She said that he never betrayed her, never did anything wrong to her, but he was simply too perfect for her. Listen to this. It's unbelievable. She said, Kaka never betrayed me. He treated me well. He gave me a wonderful family, but I was not happy. Something was missing. The problem was he was too perfect for me. Like it says right here, Kaka is a devout Christian. Now, obviously, just because you're a Christian does not mean you're a good person, but ever since I was a little kid, I've always heard good things about about Kaka as a person. I've always heard that he's a good person. So in 2005, when Kaka was in his prime playing for AC Milan, they got married. And then in 2015, she decided to divorce Kaka because apparently he was too perfect. Not only were they together for 10 years, but they also have a daughter and a son together. Mercy. And she still chose to leave Kaka because he was too perfect for her. If I was Kaka, I would be heated, bro. I would be so angry. Uh, they got married in 2005, but apparently Kaka knew her since they were a kid. But the divorce happened in 2015. But thankfully, in 2017, Kaka got remarried to a new woman called Carolina Diaz. But yeah, hopefully Kaka now is happy with his new wife because his ex-wife kind of did him dirty. If you like Brazilian football, please give me a follow. I am always talking about Brazilian football in English. Shout out Daily Mail for the article. All right, so there you guys go. Here, here's what I have to say about this. When you hear this story... Imagine a man said this. There would be an uproar everywhere on the internet. If there was a famous guy who was like, yeah, man, I had to leave her because, man, she was just too good for me. She was just too good. The first thing you would see is a new trend of women who also are trying to piggyback off that experience and saying, oh, I also went through the same thing. Can you imagine a man saying this? All you'd see is a bunch of chicks following that announcement saying, this is exactly why you can never give a man too much of yourself and never be too good. You know, the same regular stuff we see all the time. <sighs> this chick was obviously a horrible wife. It's unfortunate. I'm also going to say something here because I think there's not much to say about the situation. Horrible wife, horrible situation. Glad that he seems to have found something better. But I got to say this, and I have to say this because some men need to hear this. This is going to upset a lot of people. This is another example. The nice guys finish last. Hey guys, did you know that I'm on Facebook? Go ahead and hit that link pinned to the top of the comment section. If you're on Facebook, give me a follow. You can keep track of current content, shorts, and also older content if you are following me on Facebook. Appreciate you guys back into the video. Now, for those of you who, are, who, who heard me say that, and to you, 
you you're all of a sudden triggered because you're like oh you're gonna blame the guy how dare you blame this no 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 both can be true both can be true here is a bitter shot of espresso that i know there are guys who refuse to take a sip of this one they think that there's a woman out there when i guys when i say both can be true i mean she can be a horrible wife a horrible person and also he could have been a little bit too nice. Now, this is me for the sake of the point I want to make, believing what she's saying when I know most likely she's just talking shit and she would have chosen to divorce. And if she had any other reason, if you cheat, you know, she's just looking for a reason most likely, right? But there is a dark side to the mating dance between man and woman that a lot of men don't want to accept. If you are the type of person who most women will classify you as nice, then that's probably something that you want to change. I'm not saying this is what the soccer player is. I'm just using this opportunity to address this particular point. Being too nice, we have women out here running you over, taking you for granted, and all types of stuff. Being too nice. Making your goal be to please women in your life and you living for your woman and solely that, not having boundaries, all type of stuff. Don't be that guy. And I always get the highly religious people saying, no, that's the, the Bible says, and God, is, Jesus was not a nice man. He was a good man. There's a difference. If he was so nice, then there wouldn't have been so many people who are trying to kill him. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying you have to go out here treating women like shit. That's not what I'm saying. I am saying it is in your best interest for you to reassess whether you are the nice guy or you're the guy who's living a life based on principles because there's a fine line between a people pleaser because the nice guy wants to please and wants to make sure he's the perfect husband and then there's a guy who wants to make sure that yes he's being respectful and is you're getting what you want but also he's not going to live at the detriment of being run over, used and abused by not only women, but also men in his life, right? But overall, what do I think? Sounds like a horrible modern woman who got lucky with a good man. And sounds like Kaka may need to take a playbook from Hakime's divorce. Who remembers this story? One of the craziest divorces I have seen in my life. European football star Akraf Hakimi cheated his wife out of his $70 million by mm. putting it in his mother's name. He had zero net worth on paper. And the Spanish court ruled in his favor, finding that he had nothing to divide in this marriage. Shout out to the Spanish court. Shout out to the Spanish court. Let's go. Then his wife, who was worth only $6 million, had to pay him half because her money was titled in her name. Drizzle, 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 drizzle. <laughs> Yo, talk about a soft life. In America, that wouldn't have been allowed to happen. The money would have been put back into the marital pot. Hmm. 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 <sighs> That's crazy. Let's check out some of these comments, see what the people have to say. Let's see if we have some comments for that video. Oh, oh, oh. So the first comments here are to the Kaka story. It says, a bop will be a bop. Another person here says she had a single friend telling her she's missing out. Very likely somebody else here added there's a rumor that she was trying to get back with them close to the wedding date. No. Of course, though, who's surprised? Somebody else here added, she got bored after being with a good guy, so sad. Here's another person who says, I don't get women, bro. Now, can we also acknowledge, and I should acknowledge this, the majority of modern women out here, guys, they have messed around in the streets so long that they don't know what a healthy relationship is supposed to look like. They interpret a healthy relationship as boredom. It's not exciting because you're not trying to have a bunch of babies and kids and you're focused on your credit and trying to save and you want peace in your life. There's also that extreme, which unfortunately is a lot of chicks out here. They want drama. Avoid those chicks at all costs. 
Avoid those chicks at all costs. This is different from a woman who just doesn't want to push over, right? What I was talking about earlier, or people pleaser. Somebody else here says she cured the bag and dropped him. Somebody else here added she was bored. She needs to tell the truth. She got bored in her relationship. I think that's what she was saying. I That's what I got from it. I, I got that she got bored. I hear a woman say, oh, he was too nice, blah, blah, blah. I'm thinking like, okay, you... You want toxicity, all right? You want toxicity. Somebody else here added, in America, divorce is a business. So this is in response to the attorney who we just saw. Somebody else here says, it is not a crazy divorce. That's justice. Here's another person who added, you heard what she said, his 70 million. Here's another comment that says, that will make people to respect their marriage. Somebody else here added, it's not like he put it in his mother's account, knowing she was going to divorce him. He gave the money to his mom because he loves his mom. LMAO. That is true. Things just worked out for him in the very end. That was a huge story. Everybody was talking about that when that dropped. Crazy. Listen, as well as I'm Krishna, what do you guys think? Leave your comments down below. I appreciate you as always for checking out yet another episode of The Coffee Pot. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.